Pune is a district in the state of Maharashtra, India. Pune City Central is the district headquarters. The district's population was 9,426,959 in the 2011 census, the fourth most populous of India's 640 districts. Its urban population is 58.08% of its total population. The population of the Pune urban area is over 5 million. History The district has a long human history. The town of Janur and the Buddhist caves at Karla date back more than 2,000 years, and visitors to Janur were recorded in the 1400s. The region was under Islamic rule from the 13th to the 17th centuries. During the 17th century, the Marathas under Chhatrapati Shivaji Maharaj laid the foundation for an independent kingdom. The Peshwas, who ruled the expanded Maratha Empire, established their headquarters in the small town of Pune and developed it into a large city. The city and district became part of the British Raj in the 19th century. Many early Indian nationalists and Marathi social reformers came from the city. <laughs> Ancient and medieval history According to archaeological discoveries of the Jorway culture in Chandoli and Inamgayan, portions of the district have been occupied by humans since the Chalcolithic the Copper Age, 5th-4th millennium BC. Many ancient trade routes linking ports in western India particularly those of coastal Konkan with the Deccan Plateau pass through the district. The town of Janur has been an important trading and political centre for the last 2,000 years, and it was first mentioned by Greco-Roman travellers in the early 1st millennium AD. The Karla Caves in Karli, near Lanavala, are near the Western Ghats and a major ancient trade route running eastward from the Arabian Sea to the Deccan Plateau. The caves are a complex of ancient Indian Buddhist rock cut shrines which were developed from the 2nd century BC to the 5th century AD. The oldest of the shrines is believed to date to 160 BC. Traders and Satvahana rulers financed construction of the caves. Buddhists, identified with commerce and manufacturing through their early association with traders, tended to locate their monasteries in natural formations near major trade routes to provide lodging for traveling traders. Inscriptions at Karla and Janur suggest that in the early part of the Common Era, the area was controlled by the Shaka ruler Nahapana. Coins found further east in the district, near Indipur, suggest that the region may have been controlled by the Trekutaka king Dharagana in 465 AD. Silver coins found at Janur suggest that the region may also have been ruled by Andhra kings. The first reference to the Pune region is found on two copper plates, dated to 758 and 768 AD and issued by the Rashtrakuta ruler Krishna I. The plates call the region Puni Vishaya and Punaka Vishaya, respectively. The Patalashwar rock cut temple complex was built during this time, and the area included Thur, Yeruli, Chirachi Alandi, and Basari. The region became part of the Yadava Empire of Diogiri from the 9th to the 13th centuries. The Muslim Khalji rulers of the Delhi Sultanate overthrew the Yadavas in 1317, beginning 300 years of Islamic control. The Khalji were followed by another Sultanate dynasty, the Tughlaqs. A Tughlaq governor on the Deccan Plateau rebelled and created the Bahamani Sultanate, which later dissolved into the Deccan Sultanates. During the 1400s, Russian traveller Afanasi Nikitin spent many months in Janur during the monsoon season and vividly describes life in the region under Bahamani rule. The fort at Shakin played an important role in the history of the Deccan Sultanates. The Bahamani Sultanate broke up in the early 16th century. The Nizamshahi Kingdom controlled the region for most of the century, with Janur its first capital. During the early 1600s, the Nizam Shahi general Malik Ambar moved his capital there. <laughs> Deccan Sultanates and the Bosail Jagger Pune became politically important when the Nizamshahi capital was moved there at the beginning of the 16th century. The Bosail family received a jagger land grant, and control of the region shifted among the Bosail rulers, the Sultanates and the Mughals during the century. The district was central to the founding of the Maratha Empire by Shivaji Maharaj. Nizamshahi <inaudible> <inaudible> 
With the establishment of Nizamshahi rule, with Ahmednagar its headquarters, nearly all of the region was controlled by the Nizamshahi. It was formed into a district or Sarkar, with subdivisions Paragana and smaller ranges Prant or Desh. Revenue collection was delegated to important chieftains who were henchmen of the Nizamshahi. At Ahmednagar, the king bore the brunt of a heavy attack from Mughal armies who converged on the capital in 1595. To rally the strongest possible local support against the Mughal invaders and stabilize the territories ruled by Ahmednagar, local Maratha chieftains were given increased power. Amongst the chieftains was Maloji Bosail, who was made a Raja in 1595. The districts of Pune and Supa were given to him as a Jagar. Bosail was also given charge of the forts at Shivneri and Shakan, which played an important role in the district's early political history. In 1600, Ahmed Nagar was captured by the Mughals. Nizamshahi minister Malik Ambar raised Mortaza II to the throne, with its temporary headquarters at Janur. For nearly a generation, Ambar guided the Nizamshahi kingdom and the Pune region benefited from his leadership. By his death in 1626, the region's revenue system was sound and fair. <laughs> Bosail Jagger under the Adilshahi The Pune region was administered as a Jagger during much of the 17th century by Maloji Bosli, his son Shahaji and his grandson Shivaji. Its sovereignty changed with the Bosli's shifting allegiances. In 1632, Shahaji forsook the Mughals and accepted the friendship of the Adilshahi rulers of Bijapur the Ahmadnagar Sultanate's traditional rivals. After the fall of the Ahmadnagar Nizamshahi Sultanate, its territory was divided between the Adilshahi and the Mughals. Pune went to the former. Shahaji refused to surrender Janur, the seat of the Nizamshahi dynasty, before he finally capitulated. However, Shahaji was apparently considered important enough by the hostile power to play a key role in the new regime's administration. His jagger was confirmed, continuing the region's connection with the Bosail family. Shivaji and the Mughals Shahaji's second son, Shivaji, founder of the Maratha Empire, was born on the hill fort of Shivneri near Janur on 19 February 1630. Shivaji was named after a local deity, the goddess Shivai. His mother was Jijabai, the daughter of Lakuji Jadavrao of Sindhikt, a Mughal allied Sardar claiming descent from a Yadav royal family from Devagiri. Shahaji appointed Dadoji Khandio administrator of the Pune Jagar, which was restored to him after he joined the Adilshahi service in 1637, and was based in Bengaluru as the Adilsha commander. Khandio established complete control over the Maval region, winning over or subduing most of the local Maval leaders. He rebuilt the settlement of Pune, and prominent families who had left the town during its 1631 destruction by the Adilshahi general Murar Jagdio returned. Shahaji selected Pune as the residence of his wife Jijabai and son Shivaji, and Khandio oversaw the construction of their Lal Mahal palace. Among Khandadeo's reported reforms was a tax of one-fourth the cash equivalent of a land's yield, and the Fazli calendar was introduced at this time. He is said to have focused on the western Pune region, and has been credited with overseeing Shivaji's education and training. Khandadeo died in 1647, and Shivaji became his father's deputy. Many of Shivaji's comrades and, later, a number of his soldiers came from the Maval region in the district's western mountains, including Yesaji Kank, Suryaji Kakade, Baji Pasalkar, Baji Prabhu Deshpand and Tanaji Malasare. Shivaji travelled the hills and forests of the Sayadri range with his Maval friends, acquiring skills and familiarity with the land which would be useful in his military career. Around 1645, the teenaged Shivaji first expressed his concept of Hindavi Swarajya Indian self-rule in a letter. According to legend, he took an oath to that effect at the temple of Rayareshwar near Bhor in the district. Shivaji began his rule in 1648 of the Pune region, taking possession of the key Torna fort and controlling the Shakan and Parandar forts and raiding Janur. He moved his administration to the newly built Rajgad in 1648 and a year later, when Muhammad Adil Shah of Bijapur took Shahaji hostage, restrained his expansionist schemes. During the late 1640s and 1650s, Shivaji controlled the Pune district and beyond. Rajgad was his seat of government until his 1674 coronation. During the 1660s, the Mughals under Aurangzeb began paying attention to Shivaji. 
Pune and the region's forts frequently changed hands between the Mughals and Shivaji. In the Treaty of Parandar 1665, signed by the Mughal general Mirza Jaisingh and Shivaji, Shivaji ceded control of a number of forts in the district to the Mughals. Shivaji recaptured many of these forts when the truce ended. He was succeeded on the Marathi throne by his eldest son, Sambhaji, in 1680. Shortly afterwards, the Mughal army under Aurangzeb moved into the Deccan Plateau and remained there for nearly three decades. Sambhaji was captured and executed, at Aurangzeb's order, in the village of Tulipur at the confluence of the Bhima and Indriyani rivers. According to other accounts, Sambhaji's remains were fed to dogs. The period following his 1689 death was one of political ferment in the Deccan Plateau, and the Pune region experienced major fluctuations in administrative authority. Shivaji's younger son, Rajaram I, ruled after his brother's death. He spent most of his time in Jinji, fighting the Mughal siege. Before the Mughals captured Jinji, Rajaram returned to Maharashtra and died in Sinhagad in 1700. Ambikabai, one of his widows, committed sati at Rajaram's death. The Bimnadi or Dakani horse was developed in the region under Maratha rule by crossing Arabian and Turkic breeds with local ponies. Peshwa rule Shivaji's grandson, Shahu I, appointed the Chitpavan Brahmin Balaji Visvanat as his Peshwa in 1714. Visvanat received the area around Pune from the grateful mother of one of Shahu's ministers for saving her son's life. In 1718, Shahu sent him to Delhi to assist the Sayyids. In return for this help, Muhammad Shah, the Mughal emperor in Delhi, granted Shahu Sardeshmukhi rights for Pune, Supa, Baramati, Indapur, and Janur. Shahu appointed Baji Rao the first Peshwa in 1720, succeeding his father. Baji Rao moved his administration from Saswad to Pune in 1728, laying the foundation for turning a kasba into a large city. Pune grew in size and influence as Maratha rule extended through the subcontinent in subsequent decades. A well-known saying in the era before the Third Battle of Panipat was that the ponies of Bhimnadi drank the water of the Indus River. Pune under the Peshwas Pune gained more influence under the rule of Baji Rao the first son, Balaji Baji Rao Nanasaheb. Maratha influence waned after the disastrous 1761 Battle of Panipat, and the Nizam of Hyderabad looted the city. It and the empire recovered during the brief reign of Peshwa Madhavrao. The rest of the Peshwa era was rife with family intrigue and political machinations. The leading role was played by the ambitious Ragunathrao, the younger brother of Nanasaheb, who wanted power at the expense of his nephews Madhavrao I and Narayanrao. After Narayanrao's 1775 murder by order of Ragunathrao's wife, power was exercised in the name of his son Madhavrao II by a regency council led by Nana Fadnavis for most of the century. Under Peshwa rule, the urban elite came from the Chitpavan Brahmin community, they were the military commanders, the bureaucrats and the bankers, and had ties to each other by marriage. Nanasaheb built a lake in Katraj, on the city's outskirts, and a still operational underground aqueduct to bring water from the lake to Shaniwar Wada. The city received an underground sewage system in 1782 which discharged into the river. Pune prospered during Nanasaheb's reign. On the southern fringe of the city, he built a palace on the Parvati Hill, developed a garden known as Hira Bagh, and dug a lake near the hill with a Ganesha temple on an island in its center which is called Sarasbagh. Nanasaheb also developed new commercial, trading, and residential localities, Sadashiv Peth, Narayan Peth, Rasta Peth and Nana Peth. During the 1790s, the city had a population of 600,000. In 1781, after a city census, a household tax was levied on the more affluent, one-fifth to one-sixth of the property value. Order in Peshwa Pune was maintained by the Kotwal, who was a police chief, magistrate and municipal commissioner and whose duties included investigating, levying and collecting fines for offences. The Kotwal was assisted by police officers who manned the Chavdi police station, and clerks collected fines and paid informants who provided intelligence. Crimes included illicit affairs, violence and murder. In the case of murder, sometimes only a fine was imposed. Inter-caste or inter-religious affairs were also resolved with fines. 
Although the Kotwal's salary was as high as 9,000 rupees per month, it included officer salaries mainly from the Ramoshi caste. The best known Kotwal in Pune during Peshwa rule was Gashiram Kotwal, and the city's police force was admired by European visitors. The patronage of the Brahmin Peshwas resulted in Pune's expansion, with the construction of about 250 temples and bridges, including the Lakdi Pul and the temples on Parvati Hill. Many temples like Maruti, Vithoba, Vishnu, Mahadeo, Rama, Krishna, and Ganesha temples were built during this era. Their patronage extended to 164 schools in the city which taught Hindu holy texts to Brahmin men. Pune also had many public festivals. Major festivals were Ganeshatsav, the Deccan New Year, Gudi Padwa, Holi, and Dussehra. Holi at the Peshwa court was celebrated over a five day period. The Dakshina festival, celebrated in the Hindu month of Shravan when millions of rupees were distributed, attracted Brahmins from throughout India to Pune. The festivals, the building of temples and temple rituals led to religion being responsible for about 15% of the city's economy during this period. Peshwas and knights residing in the city had individual hobbies and interests. Madhavrao II had a private collection of exotic animals, such as lions and rhinoceros, near the Peshwe Park Zoo. The last Peshwa, Baji Rao II, was a strength and wrestling enthusiast. The sport of pole gymnastics Malakamba was developed in Pune under his patronage by Balambat Diodar. Many Peshwas and their courtiers were patrons of Lavani and Maharashtrian dance, and a number of composers such as Ram Joshi, Anant Fandi, Prabhakar and Hanaji Bala flourished during this period. The dancers primarily came from the Mang and Mahar castes. Lavani used to be a central part of holy celebrations in the region's Peshwa courts. Peshwa influence in India declined after the defeat of Maratha forces in the 1761 Battle of Panipat, but Pune remained the seat of power. However, the city's fortunes declined rapidly after the 1795 accession of Baji Rao II. Pune was captured by Yashwantrao Holkar in the 1802 Battle of Pune, precipitating the Second Anglo Maratha War of 1803 1805. Peshwa rule ended with the defeat of Baji Rao II by the British East India Company, under the leadership of Mount Stuart Elphinstone, in 1818. <laughs> <laughs> British rule and independence In 1818, the Pune region and the rest of the Peshwa territories came under the control of the British East India Company. Company rule came to an end when, under the terms of a proclamation issued by Queen Victoria, the Bombay Presidency, Pune and the rest of British India came under the British Crown in 1858. The Governor of the New Territories, Mount Stuart Elphinstone, appointed a commissioner and left the district's boundaries almost intact. Elphinstone and other British officers enjoyed Saswad and the fertile valley around it. During the First and Second Anglo Maratha Wars, it took four or five weeks to move materials from Mumbai to Pune. An 1804 military road constructed by the British East India Company reduced the journey to four or five days. The company built a macadam road between the two cities in 1830 which permitted mail cart service, a rail line from Bombay, operated by the Great Indian Peninsula Railway GIPR, reached Pune in 1858. In the following decades, the line was extended east and south of the city. The GIPR extended its line east to Raichur in 1871, where it met the Madras Railway and connected the city to Madras. The meter gauge Pune Mirage line was completed in 1886, making the city a rail junction. The Bombay Pune line was electrified in the 1920s. This cut travel time between the cities to three hours, enabling day trips for events such as the Pune races. Many villages in the west, east, and south of the district, such as Lonavla, Yuruli Kanchan, and Dond, were connected by rail. Pune's first bus service began in 1941 with the Silver Bus Company, and Tanga horse-drawn carriage drivers went on strike in protest. Tangas were a common mode of public transport well into the 1950s, and bicycles were a private vehicle choice in the 1930s. The British installed a telegraph system in Pune in 1858. According to the 1885 Gazetteer of the Bombay Presidency, Pune, the city and the GIPR had telegraph offices. In 1928, a relay station was built in Kadki to relay telegraph signals for the Imperial Wireless Chain. In 1885, Pune was a post-distribution hub for the district. 
There were two post offices in the city, which also offered money order and savings bank services. 7. Areas east of Pune receive less rainfall than areas west of the city adjacent to the Western Ghats. To minimize drought risk, a masonry dam was built on the Mother River at Kadakwasla in 1878. At the time, the dam was considered one of the world's largest. Two canals were dug on each riverbank to irrigate land east of the city and supply drinking water to the city and its cantonment. In 1890, Pune municipality spent 200,000 rupees to install water filtration works. In the early part 20th century, hydroelectric plants were installed in the Western Ghats between Pune and Mumbai. The Pune Electric Supply Company, a Tata company, received power from the Kapoli on the Mumbai side of the Ghats and Bispuri plants near the Mulshi Dam. Power was used to electrify trains running between Mumbai and Pune and for industrial and residential use, and a dam was built on the Velvandi River in Bhor. Villages in the district saw rioting in 1875 by peasants protesting Marwari and Gujarati moneylenders. The disturbances involved peasants getting the moneylenders to burn their documents and, in some cases, torching their houses. Geography and climate The district is surrounded by Thane district on the northwest, Raigad district on the west, Satara district on the south, Solapur district on the southeast, and Ahmednagar district on the north and northeast. On the leeward side of the western Ghats, it extends to the Deccan Plateau on the east. Pune is at an altitude of 559 metres 1863 feet. The district is located between 17.5 degrees and 19.2 degrees north latitude and 73.2 degrees and 75.1 degrees east longitude. Nine of the district's 15 talukas are identified as drought prone, covering a total area of 1,562,000 hectares, 6,030 square miles, and a cropped area of 1,095,000 hectares, 4,230 square miles. Of the cropped area, only 116,000 hectares 450 square miles are irrigated—nearly half by wells and tanks, and 40% by government canals. The district had a population of 4.2 million in 1991, of which 52% was rural. There were 1,530 villages in the district, its average rainfall is 600 to 700 mm 24 to 28 in, most of which falls during the monsoon months July to October. The area adjacent to the western Ghats gets more rain than areas further east. The Dond and Indapur Talukas experience more frequent droughts than Maval, on the district's western edge. Temperatures are moderate and rainfall is unpredictable, in tune with the Indian monsoon. Summers, from early March to July, are dry and hot. Temperatures range from 20 to 38 degrees Celsius 68 to 100 degrees Fahrenheit, and may reach 40 degrees Celsius 104 degrees Fahrenheit. Winter runs from November to February. Temperatures usually hover around 7 to 12 degrees Celsius, 45 to 54 degrees Fahrenheit, sometimes dipping to 3 degrees Celsius, 37 degrees Fahrenheit. June is the driest month and the agricultural sector is considered vulnerable until the 20th of September. Topic: <inaudible> Rivers and dams. The Bhima River, the Krishna River's main tributary, rises in the western Ghats and flows east. All the district's rivers the Pushpavati, Krushnavati, Kukadi, Meena, Ghod, Bama, Andhra, Indrayani, Pavna, Mula, Mutha, Ambi, Mohs, Shivganga, Kanandi, Gunjavni, Velvandi, Nira, Karha and Valu flow into the Bhima or its tributaries. Major dams are on the Kukadi, Pushpavati, Ghod, Bhima, Pavna, Mula, Mutha the Temgar and Kadakwasla dams and Mohs. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Administrative divisions. The district has two municipal corporations, the Pune Municipal Corporation (PMC) and Pimpri Chinchwad Municipal Corporation (PCMC). Pimpri Chinchwad is west of Pune on the Pune Mumbai National Highway, and its corporation covers Nigdi, Akardi, Pimpri, Chinchwad, and Basari. The region was zoned for industrial development by the state of Maharashtra in the early 1960s. 
Pune district is divided into 15 talukas Janur Taluka, Ambagaon Taluka, Ked Taluka, Maval Taluka, Mulshi Taluka, Velhi Taluka, Bhor Taluka, Haveli Taluka, Parandar Taluka, Pimpri Chinchwad, Pune, Indapur Taluka, Don Taluka, Baramati Taluka and Shura Taluka and 13 Panchayat Samitas. The district has 1,866 villages and 18 Vidhan Sabha constituencies Janur, Ambagaon, Ked Alani, Maval, Mulshi, Haveli, Bopodi, Shivajanagar, Parvati, SC, Kasbah Peth, BH Vani Peth, Pune Cantonment, Shurur, Dond, Indapur, Baramati, Parandar, and BHOR. Its four Lok Sabha constituencies are Pune, Baramati, Shurur, and Maval, shared with Raigad district. Cities and towns Pune. The district has three cantonments, in Pune, Kadki and Dihu Road. Smaller towns in the district have Nagar Palikas municipal councils. Most are the Toluca headquarters or its main town. The growth of the Pune metropolitan area has led to the development of new towns near the city such as Magarpata, Amanora and Nanded city and development further from the city in the mountains, such as Lavasa. <laughs> <laughs> District Court Pune District Court administers justice at the district level, and is the principal court of original jurisdiction in civil matters. The district court is also a sessions court for criminal matters. It is presided over by a principal district and sessions judge appointed by the state government. Court decisions are subject to the appellate jurisdiction of Bombay High Court. Pune District Court is under the High Court's administrative control. Demographics <laughs> 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 Pune district had a population of 9,429,408 in the 2011 census, roughly equal to the nation of Benin and the U.S. state of North Carolina. The fourth most populous of India's 640 districts, it has a population density of 603 inhabitants per square kilometre 1,560 per square miles. The district's population growth rate between 2001 and 2011 was 30.34%. Pune has a sex ratio of 910 females to every 1,000 males, and a literacy rate of 87.19%. By age, 685,022 were age 4 or younger, 1,491,352 were between ages 5 and 15, 4,466,901 were 15 to 59, and 589,280 were 60 years of age or older. For every 1,000 males age 6 and older, there were 919 females. <inaudible> Population by language According to the 2001 census, about 80% of the district's population speaks Marathi. Linguistic minorities with more than 100,000 native speakers are Hindi including Hindi dialects, about 690,000 people, Urdu, Kannada and Telugu. Marwari a Hindi dialect with Marathi influences, Gujarati, Malayalam 47,912, Tamil 47,504, Sindhi 40,602, Vidari a Telugu dialect 35.282, Lamani a Hindi dialect 30,604, Punjabi 28,500, Bengali 22,628 and Konkani 19,594 are spoken by over 10,000 people. Topic. Population by religion According to the 2001 census, most of the district's population is Hindu, there are also significant minorities of Muslims and Buddhists. Topic. Education Topic. Primary and secondary education State primary schools in the cities and district are run by the city corporation and Zilla Parishads, respectively, private schools are operated by charitable trusts. Secondary schools are also run by charitable trusts. 
All schools are required to undergo inspection by the Zilla Parishad or City Corporation. Instruction is primarily in Marathi, English or Hindi, although Urdu is also used. Secondary schools are affiliated with the Council for the Indian School Certificate Examinations CISCE, the Central Board of Secondary Education CBSE, the National Institute of Open Schooling NIOS, or the Maharashtra State Board of Secondary and Higher Secondary Education. Under the 10 plus 2 plus 3 plan, after completing secondary school students typically enroll for two years in a junior college also known as pre-university or a school with a higher secondary curriculum affiliated with the Maharashtra State Board of Secondary and Higher Secondary Education or a central board. Vocational <inaudible> <inaudible> training <inaudible> Pune and the district have a number of post-secondary school industrial training institutes (ITI) run by the government and private trusts which offer vocational training in trades such as construction, plumbing, welding and automobile repair. Successful candidates receive the national trade certificate. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Higher Education Pune is home to Savitri by Phool Pune University, and the city has been called the Oxford of the East. The district has a number of central government-run educational and training institutes, including the National Defence Academy, the Armed Forces Medical College and the Film and Television Institute of India. The district has many privately run colleges and universities including religious and special purpose institutions. Most of the private colleges were founded after the Maharashtra state government of Chief Minister Vasantdatta Patil liberalized the education sector in 1982. Politicians and other leaders were instrumental in establishing the private institutions. Other higher education institutions in the district include Abbasaheb Garwar College, Pune, affiliated with Savitri by Phool Pune University. Army Institute of Technology, eight, affiliated with Savitri by Phool Pune University. BJ Medical College, Pune, affiliated with Savitri by Phool Pune University Bharati Vidyapith deemed university Brahan Maharashtra College of Commerce, Pune, affiliated with Savitri by Phool Pune University College of Agriculture Pune COAP, affiliated with Mahatma Phool Krishi Vidyapith College of Engineering, Pune, affiliated with Savitri by Phool Pune University Dr. D.Y. Patil College of Engineering, Pune, affiliated with Savitri by Phool Pune University Deccan College Postgraduate and Research Institute Institute of Management Development and Research, an autonomous B school under the aegis of Deccan Education Society Ferguson College, Pune, affiliated with Savitri by Phool Pune University Government Polytechnic, Pune Diploma Courses in Engineering Gokhale Institute of Politics and Economics, Pune ILS Law College, Pune, affiliated with Savitri by Phool Pune University Indian Naval Training Colleges, Lanavala Maharashtra Institute of Technology Modern College of Arts, Science and Commerce, Pune, affiliated with Savitri by Phool Pune University National Chemical Laboratory Sinhajgad College of Engineering Sir Parashoramhau College, Pune, affiliated with Savitri by Phool Pune University SNDT Women's University, Pune Campus Symbiosis International University, Pune Vishwakarma Institute of Management Vishwakarma Institute of Technology, Pune, affiliated with Savitri by Phool Pune University Nowris G. Wadia College, Pune, affiliated with Savitri by Phool Pune University Pune Institute of Computer Technology, affiliated with Savitri by Phool Pune University. Economy Although the district is an industrial centre, its economy also has a significant agricultural component. Manufacturing Industrial development began during the 1950s in Pune's outlying areas, such as Hadapsar, Basari and Pimpri. The government-run Hindustan Antibiotics was founded in Pimpri in 1954. 
The area around Basari was set aside for industrial development by the newly created Maharashtra Industrial Development Corporation in the early 1960s, and the corporation provided business infrastructure. Telco now Tata Motors began operations in 1961, boosting the automotive sector. Around 1970, Pune emerged as India's leading engineering region with the expansion of Telco, Bajaj, Kinetic, Bharat Forge, Alpha Laval, Atlas Copco, Sandvik and Thermax. The region vied with Chennai as the Detroit of India. Growth in the villages of Pimpri, Chinchwad and Bosri allowed them and their surrounding areas to incorporate as the city of Pimpri Chinchwad. The Pune metropolitan area was defined in 1967 as the city, the three cantonment areas and the villages on its outskirts. Some of these villages, such as Kothrud, Katraj, Hadapsar, Hinjawadi and Banner, have become suburbs of Pune. In 2008, General Motors, Volkswagen and Fiat built plants near Pune. MIDC parks founded during the 1990s in Shurur and Baramati have attracted foreign companies. Topic. Information technology After India's 1991 economic liberalisation, Pune began attracting foreign capital from the information technology and engineering industries. Between 1997 and 2000, IT parks were developed in Ond and Hinjawadi. Topic. Agriculture Although the region around Pune is industrialized, agriculture continues to be important elsewhere in the district. Since most arable land is still rain-fed, the southwest monsoon season between June and September is crucial to the district's food sufficiency and quality of life. Fluctuations in time, distribution or quantity of monsoon rains may lead to floods or droughts. The eastern part of the district has been historically drought prone, but irrigation provided by dams, canals and wells have made agriculture less dependent on rainfall. The overtapping of aquifers has led to increased water salinity in the talukas of Parandar, Baramati, Dond, Indapur and Shurur in the eastern part of the district, threatening agriculture and the drinking water supply. Monsoon crops include rice, jawari and bajri. Other crops include wheat, pulses, vegetables and onions. Ambimohar, a mango-scented rice grown in Bhor Taluka and areas near the Western Ghats, is popular throughout Maharashtra. Since it has a low yield, many farmers in the region grow the crossbred Indriyani rice instead. Major cash crops include sugarcane and oil seeds, including groundnut and sunflower. The district has significant fruit orchards, particularly mango, grape and orange. A winery in Narayangan produces sparkling wine from locally grown Thompson seedless grapes. Most growers of cash crops including cotton in the district belong to agricultural cooperatives, and sugar is produced in mills owned by local cooperative societies whose members of supply sugarcane to the mills. During the last 50 years, the local sugar mills have played an important role in encouraging political participation and have been a stepping stone for aspiring politicians. Transport Highways Pune district has 13,642 kilometres of roads. National and state highways crossing the district include NH48, from Mumbai to Bangalore. The Western DU Road Katraj Bypass was completed in 1989, reducing traffic congestion in Pune and leading to industrial and housing growth along the bypass. NH60, the Pune Nashik National Highway, NH65, the Pune Solapur Hyderabad National Highway, Yashwantrao Chavan Mumbai Pune Expressway. Work on the six lane toll road began in 1998 and was completed in 2001. State highways include Pune Ahmednagar Aurangabad State Highway, Pune Alandi State Highway, Pune Saswad Pandharpur State Highway, Pune Paud Road State Highway, Talagaon Shakan State Highway Public transport 
Bus service by private companies was introduced in Pune shortly before the independence. The city took over the service after the independence in 1947 as Pune Municipal Transport PMT, which later became Pune Municipal Transport. During the 1990s, PMT and Pimpri Chinchwad Municipal Transport PCMT, the bus service provider in Pimpri Chinchwad had a combined fleet of over 1,000 buses. Because municipal transport coverage was patchy, a number of employers in the industrial belt near Pimpri Chinchwad and Hadapsar offered bus service to their employees. The companies used many more private buses than the municipal providers used. The Pune Municipal Corporation began a bus rapid transit system in 2006, but it encountered a number of difficulties. The two municipal bus companies merged in 2007 to form Pune Mahanagar Paravayan Mahamandal Limited PMPML. The Commonwealth Youth Games were held the following year, which encouraged additional development in northwestern Pune and added a fleet of buses running on compressed natural gas CNG to the city's streets. Maharashtra State Transport Buses began operating in 1951 throughout the state. During the 1960s, motorized three-wheeled auto rickshaws began replacing horse-drawn tangas in the district's urban areas, their number grew from 200 in 1960 to over 20,000 in 1996. Although Pune was known as the Bicycle City of India in the 1930s, motorcycles began replacing bicycles in the 1970s, the number of motorcycles increased from 5 per 1,000 people in 1965 to 118 per 1,000 in 1995. Air Pune Airport IATA, PNQ, is a civil enclave at Lohagaon Air Base, northeast of the city, with service to a number of domestic and international destinations. Since Pune's air traffic is controlled by the Indian Air Force IAF, there is occasional conflict between the Airport's Authority of India and the IAF over flight schedules or night landings. The airport apron is becoming inadequate to handle the growing number of flights into Pune since the airport's upgrade to international status with flights to Dubai, Singapore and Frankfurt. Pune Airport handled about 165 passengers a day in 2004–05, increasing to 250 passengers a day in 2005–06. There was a sharp rise in 2006–07, when the number of daily passengers reached 4,309. In 2010 2011, the number of passengers was about 8,000 a day. The government of Maharashtra has entrusted responsibility to Maharashtra Airport Development Company for the Greenfield Chhatrapati Sambhaji Rajay International Airport project, in the Parandar area. Baramati Airport, 12 km miles from Baramati and 100 km miles from Pune and used for pilot training and charter flights, was being planned in 2011 as a private jet hub by Reliance Infrastructure. Rail <inaudible> 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 The district's two major rail junctions are Pune Junction and Don Junction. All rail lines through Pune are broad gauge double track, and are part of Indian Railways Central Railway Zone. The Pune-Mumbai line, the district's most important rail route, was built during the British Raj. Kandala and Lanavala are on this route, which has a number of daily high-speed trains. The mumbai Kolhapur line also passes through the district, and other major Indian cities are connected to Pune by rail. The district's rail lines are Pune Kalyan towards Mumbai Pune Dond Dond Kurtawadi Dond Manmad Dond Baramati branch line single track Pune Miraj single track from Pune to Miraj towards Bangalore although express trains on these routes skip many smaller stations local passenger trains stop at each station a suburban rail system operated by Central Railway connects Pune to its suburbs and neighboring villages west of the city the system has two routes, from Pune Junction to Lanavala and to Talagaon. Five trains operate on the Pune Junction Talagaon route, and 18 trains operate on the Pune Junction Lonavla route. Eight passenger trains run between Pune Junction and Dond as suburban trains, making the Pune Dond section a third suburban route. Major stations on this route are at Lani Kalbhor and Urali Kanchan. Healthcare 
The district has three government hospitals Sassoon Hospital, Budrani and Dr. Ambedkar Hospital and a number of private hospitals, including Sayadri Hospital, Jahangir Hospital, Sancheti Hospital, Aditya Birla Memorial Hospital, Kem Hospital, Ruby Hall Clinic and Dananath Mangeshkar Hospital. The above-mentioned hospitals are all in the Pune city. Tourism. Pune district has been at the centre of Maharashtrayan and Marathi history for more than 400 years, beginning with the Deccan Sultanates and followed by the Maratha Empire. The district has a number of mountain forts and buildings from these eras, in addition to shrines revered by Marathi Hindus including five of the eight Ashtavanayaka Ganesha temples. Samadhis of the two most revered Marathi Bhakti saints and Tukaram are in Alandi and Dihu, respectively. The main temple of Khandoba, the family deity for most Marathi Hindus, is in Jijuri, the British designated Pune as the monsoon capital of the Bombay Presidency, and many buildings and parks from the era remain. Hill stations such as Lonavla and Khandala also date back to the Raj, and remain popular with residents of Pune and Mumbai for holidays. The district's mountains, forests and reservoirs are popular for hiking and birdwatching. Bigwin, a catchment area of the Ujjani Dam, is about from Pune on NH 65, the Pune Sola Pure Highway. An area of about 18,000 hectares 69 square miles has been proposed as a sanctuary for migratory birds. Pilgrimage <inaudible> <inaudible> sites Alandi Bhimashankar Temple Dihu Nira Narsingpur Jijuri Buleshwar Temple Ashtavanayak temples Ashtavanayak refers to eight historic Ganesh temples in Pune district and adjacent areas. Each of these temples have its own individual legend and history. Five of these temples are situated in Pune district. Garijatmak of Lenyadri, a former Buddhist cave on a hilltop near Janur Mareshwar of Morgan Mahaganesh of Ranjangan Chintamani Temple, Thur, the closest Ashtavanayak temple to Pune Vigneshwara of Ozer <laughs> Forts A number of historically important hill forts and castles in the district date back to the Deccan Sultanates and Maratha Empire. The forts and surrounding mountains are popular for trekking. <laughs> Sports The Maharashtra cricket team has its home ground in Pune, playing at the new Maharashtra Cricket Association MCA Cricket Stadium in Gahunje. The I-League Pune Football Club plays in the league's first division, and finished third in the 2009-10 season. FC Pune City plays in the Indian Super League since the league's inception in 2014. The 1993 national games were held in Pune, and the new sports city hosted the Commonwealth Youth Games in 2008. Puneri Palton, one of ten teams in the professional Kabaddi League, has its home ground in Bailwadi. See also Pune Station Bus Stand Roads in Pune Chaz Godagown Notes <laughs>